Leave her alone! Leave her alone! You're the one who broke the pact. Go ahead. Do whatever you want. You're two against one. No, don't tell him! Keep him! Take him away with you, but don't tell him! Hello, my name is Amber Holly. I am playing the role of Estelle. My name is Robert Starks. I play Vincent Cordell. My name is Jennifer Mead, and I play the role of Inez Serrano. My name is Giancarlo Mazzacco. I'm playing the bellboy. My name is Christina Biancardi, and I am directing No Exit. Um, when I first read the play, I immediately knew that I had to bring it to life. And when, after working with CPCT um, a couple of times, I realized this space was perfect for the vision that I had of doing the show in the round or arena style. And I pitched it and they accepted it. Because the show has to do with hell being other people, I wanted the audience to essentially be yes. the walls of this room. Give the audience the feeling of being trapped. Just yes. giving that extra aspect of the idea that it's don't it's other people and not a place. No, you don't. I'm not a gentleman, remember? And I don't mind hitting a woman. You promised me. Curdo, you promised. I beg you, you promised me. You're the one who broke the pact. Go ahead. Do whatever you want. You're two against one. But remember, I'm here watching you. There were so many great people who auditioned. I was looking for the actors to show me the relationships that they could create between each other. What I like most about the character is that he has a lot of flaws that I have. Like he, he doesn't want to admit that he's scared on the inside and he tries to usually put up a front sometimes what I do occasionally and yeah. He's like a character that a lot of people can relate to, whether they want to admit it or not. Much encouraged me to look at Inez as a real person. To not just view her as this horrible, awful, evil woman, but to truly develop her as a person. Estelle, at first glance, seems like a pretty uncaring person. I think her nature is very human. She wants people to like her. She's also pretty manipulative. She's very human. She's so awkward, Mrs. Swap. Well, go on. Dance. Oh, Cordell. You'd be so amused if you could see her. I cast Amber as Estelle because she just has this childlike feel to her and the character of Estelle, she's the youngest character and Amber was really able to embody that. I cast Jen as Inez because she just had this evilness to her that she brought to the role that was just absolutely perfect. I cast Robert as Cordeaux because he just had a certain control to the character that I was looking for. I cast Giancarlo as the bellboy because he had a devilish look and yeah, so. <laughs> look, a bellboy is like, uh, you know, he's just like a worker in hell, you know, I mean, he probably gets a check every other Friday like all of us and, uh, you know, he just, he's working for the big man downstairs, you know? It's uh, kind of adds to the whole hotel theme of it all. I guess John Paul Sartre thought hell was a hotel and uh, he just rolled with it, you know? I would like people to walk away at least discussing the idea of what it means that other people are hell. Because part of the reason that I wanted to do this play was because I wanted to explore the idea of how we give other people this power over our so-called dark secrets. Um, and I hope people walk away discussing that and why we give authority to other people. The show runs June 3rd through the 19th, Fridays and Saturdays at 8 p.m., Sundays at 3 p.m., 
Tickets are $15 and you can get more information at cpct.biz.